I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey, team, this is Ripper. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Sleeping Giant here with you in Brawls. And I have to say, guys, Brawls is uh, actually really interesting. It's almost like clan battles with seven versus seven uh, with uh, no submarines or carriers. So really, really awesome. Before we get like, subscribe, button below. Appreciate all the support. Can't thank you guys enough at 2,000 subs doing a free premium DD giveaway. So let's get right to it. So the Druid, I'm telling you guys, one of my favorite destroyers. A lot of people give it a lot of crap because it doesn't have torpedoes. And it's just a one, I guess you could say one-sided gameplay kind of style. And um, I like that. I mean, I would rather be more focused and be very, very good at one thing and rather than be average at many things. But what the Druid really excels at is really just focusing on pure gunboat power. You're going to see that in this video, especially since it's arm race. Arms race is um, the mode where you're getting all these power-ups. It's kind of arcadey, but really enjoyable actually once you get all the power-ups of course but so you got the slow you know power-ups heal you a little bit better uh, definitely the one in the middle there you can see it's the reload rate uh very very awesome very powerful makes the druid even more powerful you're going to see it get down to 0.8 second reload later in a bit but really really fantastic but uh, yeah i really enjoy the brawls right now in this season with the tier 10 7 versus 7, seven without carriers or submarines and i think it's really what clan battles is like except for the communication aspect of it and i think you can see the difference because brawls without communication is very um i would say difficult but with uh, clan battles, you're obviously the whole team's communicating, so I think it's enjoyable. But again, it's I, I like brawls. It's still fun because you just get right in. You don't have to wait till clan battles uh, to start. You can just jump right in, start playing, and have at it. But let's take a look at over here, Sleeping Giant, one of the most dreaded maps in clan battles. Uh, pretty much everybody's racing to the center there to get into that little donut-shaped area and trying to capping. But this is arms race, so you're not really capping right off the bat. The, the, the important strategy for me as a good destroyer player, I want to go out there to the flanks and start uh, spotting, especially with the druid if you let a druid get on your flank you're in for a world of hurt because it is terrible to start getting hit with these ap shells that hit you broadside like you're going to see here in the salem these ap shells really destroy um cruisers uh especially cruisers that are light skin light cruisers from the sides i mean these ap shells are just annoying they're damaging and they're fast reload you're didn't you mean you're losing literally about a thousand to two thousand hp per second and it's something that no battleship or cruiser player wants to endure, especially a destroyer player. And that's another thing that Druid excels at. It's great at destroying other little destroyers. And um, even it's not afraid of going up against a Colbert Marceau, one of the strongest destroyers in the game. And a Druid just isn't afraid of it. So let's hear We can see right now we're opening up on a cruiser. Again, once you see a radar cruiser, you want to get them right out right out the bat. I, and again, I am exposing myself. I have a buddy that's following me on the flank. Keep a look at your mini map. There is an incomparable out there, so you got to keep an eye. But you know what? We're fully engaged here on the Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico just took a massive citadel. Again, a good lesson there. Don't show broadsides. The best thing you can do right there at that point is either nose in or just run away at that point. But it's too late. Taking a citadel, and then you have a druid literally melting 397 every second. It is devastating. And do we get this kill right here? And oh, we got still killed by the Henry. Way to go there. One kill down. We have a, another cruiser right here, the Salem. Again, this is exactly why you don't want a Druid to be on your flank because it exposes yourself right here. And now you have to adjust your ship and your whole strategy based on one little destroyer positioning and moving in. This is just as bad as having a Shimakaze torpedo from the side. I mean, having constant shells raining from the side. And now you're distracted and you're taking full citadels from another angle and it's just uh just devastating right there and boom golden loot takes him out now we can focus full attention on the incomparable no destroyer spotted yet over here and there's only one destroyer on the other team but i like this because like, this is cool because there's only one or two destroyers in this brawls and it's it, it's more refreshing that you don't have to worry about destroyers all the time you only have to worry about one or two and now what we're doing what the druid does really best is just pure chasing down gunboating as you can see, this is a full gunboat build going out to reaching the shells reach out to 14.5 kilometers, giving us the ability to actually stay out of secondary range. We can reverse back. We can stay out of 12 kilometer radar from Soviet cruisers and maybe a Brisbane. And now where you can see we're just kind of ro slow rolling half speed, maybe to a quarter speed, and we're taking a lot of damage off him. And we're just really just firing from a distance. And this this part of the video you might want to speed up. It's kind of boring. <laughs> I'm just literally just raining shells. But you can see the firepower that this thing can bring. Um, the incomplete parable is a british line uh, i would say battle cruiser battle slash battleship it's got that super hill so you're going to see that the reason why it's so difficult to kill this guy is because he literally is just healing it all back everything i take away he's just getting it back in in returns and refunding back hp i take away 
But uh, we're just going to keep going. There's a power up there increasing your um, your increased health pool, if you will. So a little bit more health points than you started with. So that's a pretty cool buff. I mean, yeah, this is just so arcadey and uh, trolly. But, I, again, you can see we're putting about, what, 75 penetration cells already so far. Now, you got to aim at a lot of the superstructure. Then these pe these shells, I'll do the ha although they have great pen angles, um, I believe you can get up to 78 degrees of uh, angle uh, and still get damage on these shells. They're ridiculous. But most of the time, you're going to be shooting into superstructure anyway, so it won't matter. Uh, but you can see as you get further and further away, it is a little bit more difficult to aim. But you can see the shell arcs are decent. They're not floaty like American shells. And I really enjoy the rate of fire that just allows you to walk the shells on target right now. We're up to 85,000 damage right here, guys, in the first five minutes of the game. And you can see um, really darn annoying to the point where I'm the only one pursuing the incomparable. And if I let this incomparable win, he's going to come back and haunt us. So I have to continue to engage. And that's a great another tactic that... You should learn in World of Warships, especially as a short player, that you do not give up on the fight. You keep engaging until the enemy is dead. That's how I believe my playstyle is aggressive. I mean, ooh, we take a massive hit right there. Very good aiming and dispersion on him. Reload speed buff right there. You can see that took away a lot of our health, but the fortunate thing about the Druid is it does have heals. It's one of the fewest destroyers out there that has, actually has the, the luxury of having heals that, re, that repair the, that uh, mistake or damage that you take on. Again, I made a mistake there by you know, not maneuvering well enough to mitigate the damage. Coming from these incoming shells right here, you can see another shot. Should it be juking or slamming on the brakes right there? See, slamming on the brakes. That's the beautiful thing about the drill. You can also juke uh, a little bit better. It doesn't do well as good uh, in reverse, but it can accelerate to full speed forward like you see right now. Going from, look at that, 0, 0 9, 12, 15, 17, really, really fast. Very, very quickly, accelerate. good acceleration for the British line. Awesome, awesome there. We're just going to keep pursuing the comparable. We are not going to let him live because letting him live means he'll come back and use that uh, super heal and just come back and wreck us from the flank while my other two buddies behind me are just kind of catching up. So we'll let them catch up while we continue to spot and shoot and gunboat and do everything that a destroyer player should be doing. So we're going to hold this flank all while, again, we're not in a rush in arms race to just seize everything and run to our death. But well, you can see that the center will, key area in the middle will appear in a minute. And that is, is the primary objective. It'll appear later. And then we'll capture that point at the end. So, ooh, this time he goes broadside now. Very uh, gutsy move here. So I, there's nothing better than to see a broadside battleship or cruiser for Druid. Because now you get to get these massive, nice uh, full broadside shots. And it's a little bit easier to aim. And then we pop the smoke. Another good thing that the Druid has is these quick smokes like the Daring has. British Line smokes are very, very quick. Unfortunately, nobody on my team is spotting for me, so that's another bad thing. So, see, this is why destroyer players are so crucial because we do everything. We spot, we torp, we gunboat, we we run down other destroyers, we spot other battleships and cruisers. We're always leading from the front in the fight, and that's why I enjoy it so much. And we're also smoking up. We smoke up so we can give cover for uh, an, an, or a, 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 basically an artificial immovable object that allows you to block the uh, line of sight. Here we go. Full Full gun voting right on the nose here. You can see he only has two front guns. He's firing and does he hit us? And he does. My God, that's got a lot of damage. Now here's the problem. The mistake him, he should have kept nosed in because if you expose the bow of your ship, this is what the Druid does the best. It literally takes all the damage off your bow. Look at that. Look how much damage we're taking off the bow and those improved angles are there. It's just not enough. Your bow cannot absorb that kind of a damage and then we take it all to the house right there. 142,000 damage alone on that incomparable. That was pretty awesome right there. Uh, actually, we split up the damage between the uh, Salem and the Puerto Rico as well, but most of it came from the uh, incomparable. We're going to speed it up here. We're going to drive back into the cap. Notice that we're trying to get back into that center point, but we're also going to pick up all these buffs, and especially these reload buffs. My goodness. If you get these reload buffs, you're going to get this thing down to 0.8 reload. Uh, 0 .8, shell, 0 0.8 second reload. It's going to be pretty awesome. The full minigun machine gun of the power of the Druid right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I love so much about this ship. Here we go, full reload, and just look at the reload we're getting. And we haven't even activated Fearless Brawler yet, and we got Adrenaline Rush, everything kicking in. This thing will melt anything. So it looks like that Wooster looks very delicious right now. So we're going to go ahead and punch right through our friendlies here and to see if we can get as many shells on target. Look at this. It's almost like a choreograph ballet. The team is splitting their ships uh, so we can drive right through the harbor here. And just look at that. Just listen to the reload. The power of minigun reload of 0.9 seconds. We're trying to expose ourselves so we can get at least a 0.8. Let's see here. We get Fearless Brawler active. So we can get it going. 
All right, let's see. Pop that right there. There we go. He popped the radar. Now we get the benefit of Fearless Brawler, and he can can barely see us until he starts showing Brass. Now, here's where the light cruiser aspect comes in. The shells do so much damage on the light cruisers, but we're taking a Wooster head on full. Gunboats, all guns of his are firing at us. We got to eliminate this guy really quick before we die. Come on. Can we get a Citadel? Give me a Citadel, baby. Come on. Here we go. And boom citadel right there we can set it all like cruisers guys splash two he goes down 180,000 damage and that is how hopefully we're going to win the game we are in the cap as well it's taking up all the buffs and killing radar cruisers well i mean the druid does everything you're literally doing what i told you we're doing spotting capping uh we're uh smoking after other ships we're destroying radar cruisers destroying cru destroyers we're just going inside the cap we're doing everything we can and just eliminating everybody on the map and taking this to the house right here and hopefully we get this last go but we don't have enough time right there but look at that 0.8 second reload really awesome he goes down as well to our puerto rico but that was a fantastic game try it out guys if you hadn't had the druid take it out for clan battles rank whatever just test it out see if you like it 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 is a very unique play style requires a little bit of skill to um you know really maximize the uh the power of this thing because it is not for the faint of heart but as always hope you guys enjoy the video we're going to do a couple more uh clan battle videos and strategy tips coming up soon but as always, like, subscribe, button below. Appreciate all the support at 2,000 subs. Doing a free premium DD giveaway. Build is at the end of the video. And as always, make sure you guys say hi out there. And as I always say to you guys, thank you for everything and stay safe. Cheers.